lot of healing, peace, love, a lot of healing, peace to the guys, peace to the earth. Y'all climb on in. Let me know if you can hear me and let me know if you can see me. Type in some nines. Blessings, blessings, family. It's been a while. We've been working, working, y'all. Working, traveling, building schools, getting courses done, all types of stuff. Y'all climb on in. I want to talk about something very important today. I got a lecture coming up basically talking about cell phone connections to autism, cell phone connections to Alzheimer's disease, uh, cell phone connections to dementia and uh, brain cancer, uh, testicular cancer, prostate cancer. So, you know, we run it through all the notes and we putting everything together. So I said, well, while I'm putting all my notes and stuff together, I might as well go live and, and talk about it to y'all anyway, because this will help me brush up on it. So. You know, y'all climb on in. Peace, 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 family. Blessings to the gods and goddesses. Y'all climb on in. We're going to wait till get about 2,000 people in here. We're going to get it started. I see we at 1,600 now. How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? Shalom Lakai. Bro is back. I've been back, man. i just been working, y'all. So uh, we're going to title this the same thing I'm going to title the lecture. And I'm actually going to do this lecture live, too, uh, probably sometime early next week. And it's called uh, Cancer and Autism Connection to Cell Phone and Wi-Fi Use. Uh, and we're going to go through a bunch of different uh, data that's not supported, ironically, that's not supported by the U.S. The United States of America doesn't really support this data, but this data is supported amongst a bunch of a lot of scientific labs all over across the world. And you have to ask yourself why. And we're starting to see a lot of people that's coming in with salivary glands tumors, uh, a lot of people coming in with uh, geomoblastoma tumors on their brain. We're seeing a bunch of people popping up with prostate, testicular cancer of fibroids, I mean a bunch of ovary cancer, breast cancer, and we wondering why. And then when you see it, these are our cell phone use areas or these are our cell phone storage areas. Most men put their cell phone in their pocket, which is right by their testicles or right by their prostate. Most men put their phone in their back pocket, right where their tailbone's at. Most women love to put their cellular phones in their bra. So you're starting to see wherever this antenna is at that's inside the cell phone, we're seeing basically basically um, mutagenic cells starting to take place and then we see a bunch of uh, uh, agglomeration or what you would call coagulations of cells and then cancer happen and then when you actually link this to autism y'all it's crazy and the reason why I feel comfortable speaking about this because these are not things that I'm just saying these are actually science based articles that's been actually studied and experimented in laboratories showing that cell phone can give you cancer the use of Wi-Fi can give you cancer and it can cause this autism and all types of stuff so i'm comfortable with saying that because the data shows that so you can't flag this and take it down because these are not my words instagram youtube and facebook this is y'all own words so if y'all ready to get this started uh type in some nines ironically i know it sounds crazy i'm on here telling you that your cell phone is killing you and i'm on the cell phone going live on the cell phone while telling you that so uh to people that's gonna get in the comments that's, to say that like well we own a we own the cell phone watching you talking about how the cell phone kills us I'm just going to say limit it, limit your cell phone use. Uh, make sure that it's not on your persons. If you want to walk around with it, put it in some type of bag, a carrier. Never put it on your skin. Don't put it in your pocket. Make sure that it's at least two to three feet away from you if you're going to be on it more than 10 minutes like I am now. If you're using your cell phone, use it actually on speakerphone. Keep it away from your head. Limit your use of these things. If you're not using it, if you're not worried about family calling you or you're not worried about any type of emergencies, put it on the actual airplane mode. When it goes on the airplane mode, it's hard for the actual antenna to go through its high frequency light post and try to connect to a cell tower. Because when it's trying to connect to the cell tower, that's what actually causes the electrical magnetic frequency and these waves to actually permeate from the phone to try to bing off the tower for it can find a signal. This is where the hot zone is at. It's when it's trying to catch a signal and it's literally using your body as a microwave like you in a microwave like you heating up a piece of chicken wing and then it's heating the molecules of your cells from the inside out we all understand and we all know that the body comprises of at least 80 to 85 percent water and the brain at least 80 to 92 percent of course it's academia everybody say 92 cent, uh 92 percent some people say 87 percent that's that's here or there but that we know that the brain have a highly significant amount of water that's in it and we 
we know that the body have a highly significant amount of water in it, whether we're talking about H3O2, H3O, or H2O. What we do know is when you pass electrical magnetic radio frequencies, whether we're talking about micro frequencies, radio frequencies, ultraviolet uh, radiant frequency, uh, infrared or near infrared, it's going to speed up the actual molecules. And when you speed up these molecules, they become dipole antennas. And when they become dipole antennas, what they do is they rub against each other very hard and create friction. This friction then create heat. If you heat up a cell the same way if acids is sitting on a cell, what's going to happen is going to burn the integrity of the cells is going to start burning the organelles of the cells and it's going to stop the cells from going through something called cellular atrophy when you stop the cells from going through cellular atrophy it's hard for the cells to get rid of their toxemia and their waste this becomes mutagenic y'all it's going to cause a mutagen and it's going to make the cells mutate when the cells mutate they're going to adapt and when they adapt they usually coagulate themselves together in survival mode and this coagulation is what they call tumors and most of the time these tumors are cancerous Meaning that the, the, the cells is not only lacking oxygen, but there's some type of parasitic that's inside the cell. So I'm going to take y'all through my notes. I'm going to take y'all through these articles. We're going to go through it. And then the beautiful thing about Yaki is I always give you a solution at the end. So I gave y'all a solution in the, in, the, in the beginning, but we're going to get into herbs and we're going to get into exercises and a lot of other things that you can do after you hear the information for yourself, but you can keep you and your children out of this situation. There is without a shadow of a doubt, y'all, that cell phone use, heavy cell phone use, you putting your children in front of these Wi-Fi routers. You're putting your children in front of TVs all day and you're, you're letting tablets and cell phones raise your children. It is causing them to be autistic. It is messing up their brain cells. It gives them memory loss. It gives them very, very bad, poor behavior. It's a crazy study that showed they actually took children, y'all. They took children that, that mothers use the cell phones a lot and they watched these children grow for 15 to 20 years. And they and they took other children that, that mothers did not get on the cell phones. The, the pregnancy that was prone to the cell phone when the mother was pregnant and she was always on the phone, her children grew up in school having very, very bad behavior issues because they couldn't pay attention in literacy. They couldn't pay attention in class and they didn't know how to interact with their environment because the radiation actually fried their brain cells and messed with their melanin neurotransmitters. But the same other group that the, pre that the woman was pregnant and she didn't use the phone, their children grew up behaviorally just fine. Their behavior was fine. They knew how to interact with their environment. They they made good grades so it's even showing you that if you are a pregnant woman and you using the phone you are still affecting the baby because the baby is growing brain cells these brain cells are not mature and it's still in this elastic state full of water so if you shoot these radioactive wave frequencies through there it is changing your electrical magnetic frequency of your body and this is causing an interception of information so the information is getting distorted not only is the information becoming distorted but the brain cells is becoming distorted as well as the body tissue issue. We have to remember that it's three things that runs the body, the blood, the nerve, and the lymph. The blood is full of water. The nerve moves through water and electricity and anions and cations, and the lymphatic system is full of water. Your cells are full of water. It's called the, inter the interstitial fluid of the body. That's, their cells float on top of water, y'all. That's how they migrate and make their way around to different communities with inside of your molecular structure. So if you are putting your tissues just like you put a, a piece of chicken inside the microwave and turn it on two minutes what is that heating process going on it's the same thing that's going on when you have your cell phone on your thigh when you got your cell phone on your breast when you got your cell phone on your head you got your cell phone in your pocket you are becoming a piece of chicken in a damn microwave and that's what's happening to our cells. So if y'all ready to get this started, y'all ready to go through all of these notes, go through all of these beautiful articles and just reading through these articles, y'all, the science, who, who, the people that published these scientific articles did a very, very good job in their experiments. They, they made sure they fact checked everything before they published this stuff. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's going to be a beautiful presentation. Uh, I can't do the whole presentation here because we're not, even though I'm in my studio, we're not on, we're not in YouTube, but we're not on Facebook, but I will do the whole entire presentation of the beginning of the next week, but I did want to show y'all what I'm working on. So if y'all ready, type in some nines and let's go through it. Let's go through it. They say, why does my voice keep changing? I don't know. It's something to do with the, with the phone and I have nothing to do with my voice. My voice is the same. Yeah. Y'all can screen record this. Y'all can screen record this, and at the end, uh, call. I am going to be accepting call-ins, and y'all can ask any question you want to ask. All right? 
All right, I see the nines. All right, so let me take this phone off real fast. And let's go through some of this stuff, y'all. This stuff is deep. Let's go through some of this stuff. So I want to show y'all a few articles first. Check this out. So these are many articles. We're just going to go through a few of them. All right. This one is independentcode.uk. Climate change news. Germany warns citizens to avoid using Wi-Fi. Y'all make sure y'all look this up. That way when y'all do check me out on YouTube and Facebook, which I will give y'all the information, y'all can be able to keep up with the presentation at the beginning of the week. But this talk about the environmental ministry verdict on health risks from wireless technology puts the British government to shame. And it's basically talking about that people should avoid using Wi-Fi whenever possible because of the risk it may pose to your health. The German government have said, and they're going through a bunch of articles and a bunch of experiments showing how Wi-Fi and wireless technology is causing cancer and causing all of these different tumors and literally messing up our cells. We have to understand when your cells is introduced with any type of acids, when your cells are introduced with high amounts of heat or any type of radioactive frequency, the first thing it does is messes with the thyroid. So we see a lot of people having thyroid issues, whether we're talking about hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism. This is due to radiation attacking the thyroid. The next place the radiation always goes to the liver. So we're seeing a lot of people suffering from liver disease and we thinking it's because alcoholism or thinking it's from a piss poor lifestyle, but little did you know it's coming from your heavy cell phone use. Also, the cell phone area, a lot of people are getting major, major migraines and don't know why. That's because the actual cell phone is dehydrating you. Not only is it dehydrating you, it is heating up the actual water molecules that's deep within inside of your tissues that make up your brain and make up your skin. This is messing us up. We see a lot of people starting to get a bunch of cataracts on the eyes. I even found a study showing that cell phones actually is associated to cataracts, messing with your eyes, detached retinas, drying out the octave nerve from the cell phone. Like, why are people not talking about this? And then you start really studying and you start seeing all of these different celebrities, these basketball players, these singers. They're popping up with all types of brain tumors. And even one of them said it. I think it's because of my heavy cell phone use. You see what I'm saying? So when you look at these things, we got hydration. We got cellular mutagens. We got memory loss, brain fog, thyroid problems, cancer, Alzheimer's disease. Yes, I'm reading from my notes. I got a lot of stuff written down. Dementia, autism and prostate cancer all coming from the cell phones that we actually have science back articles and experiments done proving these things that they not talking about in the United States of America. I wonder why. Hmm. So check this out. So this is one of them right here. So German warns the citizens to avoid using Wi-Fi. Y'all look this stuff up. All right. This was done by, uh, by Jeff Lean. Sunday of September the 9th of 2007. Y'all look this article up. Here go another one. It says cell phone use potentially risk for kids and teens. This the health agency. This is CBC News talking about this in Toronto. Toronto Department of Public Health is advising teenagers and young children to limit their use of cell phones to avoid potential health risk. It says that even... Look, when you get deep into this article, it said just five to 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes of cell phone use increases your risk of cancer to 40 to 70 percent, 40 to 70 percent. I'm not saying this. This is what they saying. And you're seeing what's happening. It's actually stopping DNA synthesis. It's actually stopping protein synthesis. It stopped the cells from actually functioning properly because you're introducing these things to rays and heats. And then they have the, they got the nerve to call it uh, non-ionic. We're going to look at this, non-ionizing. Like it's not really hurting us. And so if this is non-ionizing uh, radiation, it is not as strong as x-rays. It is not as strong as all these other things. Then why is it giving so many people cancer? That's why you have to read through the lies and the bull crap, because we have to be careful with what they're doing with these articles. There are major corporations like Samsung, like Apple, that pays different types of scientists hundreds of millions of dollars to do studies and then will give them extra on top to make the actual results of the studies 
match what they want to say for they can keep selling. There's many books that talks about this. And I gave y'all a book in my last live that talks about it. It says that we are the researchers. Our researchers is right book where it shows documented lies where people are getting paid to actually lie about scientific results. And then they feel bad later on down the line after they didn't kill millions of people. Then they recant their statement and then they start putting out the real actual information. Dr. George uh, uh, Carlo did it. Dr. George Carlo in 19. 99, they paid him 128 million to act like phones wasn't giving people cancer. Then all of a sudden in 2002, he recanted everything he said and then he actually posted his real findings, y'all. Posted his real findings. Showing that it's killing people. So check that out. So that's two, that's two of them. Let's keep going. And then we're going to show you how this works. Here go another one. Just 10 minutes of cell phone chat may trigger cancer. Y'all see that? Just 10 minutes of cell phone chat may trigger cancer. Here go another one. Mobile phone radiation causes brain tumors and should be classified as a probable human carcinogen. Look this stuff up. International Journal of Oncology. You see that? And I understand. Damn, we own the cell phone while talking about the cell phone's killing us. <laughs> it's crazy, right? All right, cancer, strong signal for cell phone effects. So this showing you how these strong signals from the cell phones affect the cells and actually can biologically mutate the cells and give you cancer. You see that? So somebody just commented and said, God damn, everything gives you cancer at this point. And I understand that. That's a very, very true statement. But you're talking about a cell phone that's on you. That you all you have to do is take it off of you and put it in the bag. You're talking about something that you can prevent. You're talking about food that you can stop eating. You're talking about Wi-Fi that you can cut off before you go to sleep or only use while you're working. So we're not going to sit on here and act like everything give us cancer. No, your lack of knowledge and you having piss poor discipline as a people is what's giving you cancer. Now, of course, there's things inside this environment that we can't avoid, like environmental toxemia and pollutants. You know, that's neither here or there. But you can take certain herbs to cleanse your blood every week. You can take certain herbs to cleanse your respiratory system. You can choose to drink certain waters that don't have any contaminants in it but for us to sit up here and be irresponsible and say that everything causes cancer oh fucking well I, I think people like that need to get off my live because you are a part of the problem if you actually have that ideology and think that way we can change what's going on if we all come together and stop if we all quit buying these bullshits if we all quit buying the phones if we all quit shopping at these stores that's selling us these cancerous causing food they will stop money is power we are spending our money we are the consumers if we all stick together and unify and say no fucking more and quit spending our money on the things that's killing us right because we're kill we're killing ourselves by paying money there is going to break their banks and then they're going to be like damn well we can't get paid no more how about we do take the metal out of the cereals how about we do take the artificial refined sugars out of the Cheerios for the children because they're not buying no more Cheerios and our profits is down by nine billion in two years. How about we start putting all the healthy things in there? How about we quit putting additives and preservatives inside of the fruit snacks? How about we actually use real fruit for fruit snacks because we're down 10 billion dollars in three years? So. The, the, the issue is not the damn demons that's causing the havoc upon the world. The issues is the feeble minded people that's continuing to letting them do this bullshit and paying them to hire people to kill you. So the issue is not that a demon is a damn demon. That's the purpose of them. That's the balance of life. That's the equation. Light, darkness, up, down, hot, cold, fat, skinny, beautiful, ugly. There have to be duality. So they're playing their job. The damn issue is you. You are the issue. Because you know what's going on and you still buy the bullshit. You know what's wrong, but you still would choose to put it in your mouth. We know that the cell phones is killing us, but as soon as you get off this phone, you're going to take this same very rare cell phone and put it in your pocket. You know what's wrong and you know what's killing your children, but to shut your children up because they're getting on your damn nerves because you haven't been able to master the child that's in you. And you can't master your children. You stick a cell phone and a tablet in their hand for you can ease the stress instead of facing your higher self, which is the children and seeds that you chose to have. That's the issue. We got to get our minds right, family. It's you. The devil going to be the devil. The devil going to be the devil. 
You either working with this demonic entity and helping this demonic entity kill two thirds of the earth or you are defunding this thing and you're stop spending your money with these people. And then that's going to change them anyway, because they need to make money. You are the energy. You are the product. You are the you are everything. You you the, you the commodity. You the hot you the hot person. It ain't them. It's you. They need you. They need your energy. So if you stop feeding the beast, the beast will eventually starve itself and die. So no, you the problem. All right, let's get back to it. My bad, y'all. I had to address that. All right, here go another one. Check out this one, y'all. And let's get deep into it. Does the use of mobile phones affect male fertility? A mini review. Man, I'm talking about lower your sperm account by the thousands, y'all. So we wondering why we can't reproduce because you got your cell phone near your nuts all day. Cooking and heating up your sperm cells, shriveling up your testicles. And you wonder why you shooting blanks because you have radioactive frequency inside of your nutsack because you keep your cell phone in your pocket close to your prostate and close to your seminal, your seminal glands. You see what I'm saying? I'm only on the fifth one. I got about 23 of these, y'all. We can keep going. Here go another one. The influence of direct mobile phone radiation and sperm quality, showing that we have weak, piss poor sperm quality because we have our phones in our pockets next to our testicles all day. All I'm saying is we can start changing things just by taking these phones out of our pockets and putting them somewhere else. That's it. Two to three feet away from us and speak with the phone on speakerphone. Never put it to your head. All right. Here go another one. Cell phone use in pregnancy may cause behavior disorder in offspring. This is by Yale University and Yale News. This this publication blew my mind because it actually showed and they tracked. They actually tracked these. They tracked babies that was in the fetuses and embryos that was inside of the actual placenta. Through the birth all the way until they were adults, y'all. And it showed how their brains was not working properly due to the radiation that the mother put the fetus through while the fetus was inside of the actual placenta in the gut, y'all. That is some crazy stuff. Showing you that these are lifetime damaging things if you never get rid of it. Oh, we. That's deep. Here go another one. Warning. Using a mobile phone while pregnant can seriously damage your baby. This comes from independent news. I'm not making none of this stuff up. And yes, moringa. Work. Look, and, and that's one of the herbs. Moringa. I've been studying a lot on these. Moringa is one of them. Uh, kelp is one of them. Uh, dose, sea moss, chickweed, uh, red clover blossom. Kelp, nettle leaf, uh, violet leaf, and yellow dot. All of these actually pulls radiation from up out of the cells, and then it kicks on uh, uh, atrophy, atrophy, which actually is going to kick on glutathione or glutathione, and this is going to open up the NRF2 pathways to allow the cells to purge all of this radiation out anyway. So there's things that we can do about it, but we're talking about preventive maintenance, right? I'm going to do two more, and I'm going to show you how this works. Here go another one, y'all. Toxic metals and essential elements in hair and, uh, and severity of symptoms among children with autism. And this one blew my mind because we deal with a lot of autistic children, nonverbal autistic children and verbal autistic children. Uh, some that's high on the spectrum and some that's low on the spectrum. And in one case, I found out. Uh, matter of fact, Nabi know about this one. It was a man. It's a man that we were supposed to go into business with. He's from San Francisco, California. He ended up creating these different cards and these different devices that actually stopped the EMF radioactive frequency from coming from the Wi-Fi. He had a very, very uh, highly uh, autistic child, right? And she's a nonverbal. And he noted and he did everything in his power. This is a real story. Uh, he did everything in his power to cleanse her and to detox her of autism. I helped him and everything, but we was wondering why I wouldn't work. And how many years ago was this when he created these cards and stuff? For her, uh, he, about uh, seven, eight years. Ago. About seven, eight years ago. Look, herbal protocols wasn't working. Changing the diet wasn't working. And he spent all his money to get her healed. And he finally figured out why he couldn't get her healed from the autism. Because she could not get rid of the metals. She could not, she couldn't secrete the metals out of her skin and out of her brain. She couldn't get rid of the mercury. And we was wondering why we could not detoxify the metals of the mercury out of her bloodstream and out of her cellular brain tissues. And the reason why was the damn cell phone, the tablet, and the Wi-Fi. 
And the reason why is because when radiation hits the cells, it actually locks and it binds metals deep within the cellular tissues and it locks and it binds this radiation and mercury and toxins deep within the cellular tissues because it disable autophagy. Autophagy. Auto just means self. Phagy means eating. So autophagy means self-eating, a self-consuming mechanism of the body. This is a cleansing process that your cells go through where macrophages and phagocytes go through and gobble up certain cells, disintegrate them down, take them to the actual lymph nodes. Once they get to the lymph nodes, you have this biobifinal bacteria and other macrophages that actually chew up these garbages of what you would call cellular toxemias. And then it goes through the actual lymphatic vessels. It ends up in the kidneys and then you urinate all of this metabolic waste out through urea well what stopped this process is metals so if you can't get metals or mercuries or any of these other metabolic wastes out of the body then it's impossible to detoxify well guess what locks these metals these mercuries and these 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 uh, metabolic uh, or catabolic waste inside of the tissues radiation from cell phones and wi-fi because it disable your detoxification mechanism of what we call autophagy or autophagy y'all think i'm lying just look this stuff up yourselves so what they did was in this study that i'm talking about which is uh toxic metals and essential elements and hair and severity of symptoms among children with autism they did a study where they took 20 children they took 20 children they did this amongst five years and they kept taking 20 at a time that had autism right they checked their hairs when they checked their hairs they noticed that they did not have a bunch of metals and stuff in their hair because even though our hair is an extension of our nervous system our hair is a limit a, a limitative organ too that's why when you sweat you sweat through your hair that's why if you know somebody been in a sauna or been working out you can just smell their hair and you can smell the toxins on their hair well they just like you go to the uh to the doctor before you get a job and they'll prick your hair to check if it got marijuana on it because most of the body's eliminated waste is through the nervous system by way of the hair so what they did was they took them to the doctor and they had the doctor take samples of these autistic children hair and and what what, what behooved them was they didn't have any metals or any mercury on their hair so they're like damn where is the mercury in the metals in right so the allopathic community the first thing they, first thing they gonna do is they gonna publish the wrong science this is what they did oh well since we didn't find mercury and fit, since we didn't find metal toxicity of the hair of autism children we can't blame it on the vaccines no more we can't say the vaccines gave them uh, autism we can't say that metal and mercury gave them autism but then it was a bright-minded man like myself that said hold on maybe you can't find mercury or metal on the hair of autistic children because they because they detoxification mechanism is not working and the metals and the mercury is still inside of their brain tissues. So they said, well, let's let's do an actual experiment. So they took 20 children, the same 20 children that had a less uh, significant amount of metals and mercury on their hair than the children that didn't have autism. They took the autistic autistic children into a building. They did it three times a week and they did it for five hours and they, they cut off Wi-Fi. They cut off any radioactive frequencies. They kept computers out of this place. They kept everything out of this place that actually emits a electrical magnetic field. Did you? You know, after three months, they went back and checked their hair and their hair was full of mercury. Their hair was full of metals. Their hair was full of toxemia, showing you that the cell phone use and that the wireless technology was actually keeping them from detoxing their brains and their glymphatic system. And since and when they checked their hair, they couldn't find none of the metals and the toxins because the shit wasn't coming out because the radioactive frequency from technology was keeping their body from naturally detoxifying. That is, ain't that a deep study though? That's a deep study. Look, these things are weapons. Whether you want to admit to it or not, you are addicted to your weapon. And I get it because I'm still trying to break the addictive behavior. Since we've been studying this, how many times might I be at? I say, do I do I be like, damn, I got to get this out of my pocket again? I'm talking about at five times a day. Damn, I'm going to the bathroom to, to release. I got my cell phone with me. I gotta throw the bath. I gotta throw the cell phone out of the bathroom because I can't even defecate without having my cell phone in my hand. Then you spending 30 minutes on the toilet. You been done shitting. The, the other 20 minutes is you thumbing through social media, giving yourself cancer. You see that? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, y'all. So we got to we have to break this addiction 
to our cell phones and to this Wi-Fi, especially with our children, because this is weakening the genome, the genome and the genealogies of our children. It actually stops DNA synthesis. Do you realize if you stop replicating DNA and making RNA, there will not be another you? Or we now. This is not a conspiracy because I'm starting to put pieces of the puzzle together. Why is these 5G towers up? Because this speeds up what you call high frequency pulsing of these electronics. Why did they put inject us with these nanobot technology particles? Particles. Why is this nano this nanobot technology particles have reflectors on it? Now I'm finna draw this out. Now, but I need you to hold the phone for me, if I can draw this. I want to show y'all how this works scientifically, and it's gonna blow your mind what they doing. I'm telling y'all, it's going to blow your mind. They're trying to hook us up to the damn internet. <laughs> I'm telling you. And then you hear words like bandwidth. Bandwidth. Body area network. And then you be like, hold on. I got a body. Hold on. I have a natural electrical magnetic grid. Hold on. I have a natural routing in my brain. Hold on. I have a natural dipole antenna. My pituitary gland and my pineal gland. Hold on, I have natural conveyance of electricity due to cation and ionic minerals in my body. Oh, is they using me as a damn router for Wi-Fi? Huh? Yes, body area network. P-N-I-A or P-A-N. Personal area network. Then you start reading this shit on the back of routers and the back of Wi-Fi devices and it's actually talking about you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, then you start thinking about the inoculations and the injections and then what's inside of these things, mercury, dead fetal tissue, huh? metals that's not supposed to be in your body, cadmium, huh? all these different things. And then they got 5G tower networks up and then you got your cell phone and your tablet on you at all times. Or are they hacking your information? Or are they hacking your DNA? Or are they putting shit inside of your genome? I'm just saying, start really thinking about this stuff. It's a whole new level of evilness that's going on in this world that your mind, your fragile little little nurturing mind can't even comprehend how evil these people are because you're not an evil person. You are a melanated nurturing being. So you can't even you can't even think of the evilness that this people can even come up with. I'm just saying. And now we see high we see high populations that are suffering from Alzheimer's, dementia, memory loss, adrenal fatigue, which it causes very bad adrenal fatigue. And you wonder why you tired all the time. That's because your cell phone is draining your energy and draining your spirit. And I can prove this scientifically. It is dehydrating you. It is very catabolic to the cells. It is creating inflammation. It is creating the cells to live inside of a toxic environment. So the cells have to adapt in order for the cells to adapt. They have to mutate. After they mutate, they go into a detoxification phase and then you get all of these symptoms that you think is diseases who we just saying now check this out y'all i got some more stuff to show y'all now this is from a famous singer famous singer check this out check out what she say singer cheryl crow was recently diagnosed with a benign brain tumor she thinks it may have been caused by extensive cell phone use hold cheryl on crow so was we, cheryl crow was so we got the the famous singer cheryl crow she have a brain tumor and she even said it herself she think it was from her cell phone use singer cheryl crow was recently diagnosed with a benign brain tumor she thinks it may have been caused by extensive cell phone use she told katie couric what led to, to that conclusion for her I say it's in my cell phone area and there are no doctors that will. She said it was in her what? Her cell phone area. Now, in the in the presentation, I'm going to show you all at the beginning of the week. The cell phone area is at the bottom of the actual salivary gland, which is right here. And it goes to the actual top of your head. This whole thing in the middle of your face is your cell phone area. Now, I'm going to show you all some cell phone tumors that's going to blow your mind. And we all are suffering from these things and don't know it. You you walking around, I got a swollen lymph node. No, you developing a benign tumor from that damn cell phone use. Oh, I got a headache and a migraine. 
Oh, man, I must be lacking minerals. No, you can't absorb minerals because the radiation is messing up your gut and, and your absorption faction happened in this little nine intestinal inch tract called the duodenum. And you can't uptake any of these minerals because you cannot metabolically use them because your adrenals down because you are adrenally fatigued because you've been drained of all of your energy and all of your glucose and fructose metabolisms or metabolites by these damn radioactive cell phones. And this is all proof. And let's not talk about the damn ear pods. The ear pods is like little bitty garnades that you just stick in your ear. Them little, I call them little garnades. But we're going to talk about the ear pods inside of uh, the YouTube lecture I'm going to do, y'all. And I'm going to give y'all the date for that once we get off. Now, check this out. I want y'all to hear this. Confirm, confirm that. But I did have a conversation with Cheryl Crow, who was recently diagnosed with a benign brain tumor. She thinks it may have been caused by extensive cell phone use. She told Katie Couric what led to, to that conclusion for her. I say it's in my cell phone area, and there are no doctors that will confirm confirm that. But I did have a conversation with Sanjay Gupta about it, and um, I do have the theory that it's you know it's possible that it's related to that because early early days when I was promoting my first record, I did you know hours of phoners on what you know the old right. archaic cell phones. You see that? So Cheryl she Crow did. Was recently diagnosed with a so she did hours tumor. of phone sessions because she was recording her uh, her album. Not even two years later, she developed that tumor. What about John McClain? What about John McCain? Let's talk about him. Let's look him up and see his. Let's see what happened to him and his tumor. Let's check this out. And look, notice every time you see a picture of him, he always got two cell phones. Look at him, two cell phones. He just going out his life. He in his politician world trying to win elections and do this and do that, not even knowing that he is frying his tissues. He frying his tissues. Let me show y'all what this look like, y'all. Now, this, he look completely fine right here, but after a couple of uses of these phones, you start seeing him with scars. He tried to keep it low. He didn't talk about it. Do y'all see the salivary cell phone area tumor? Y'all see it's breaking through his skin? Y'all see they had to do surgery on his actual skull? Huh? Notice his eyes. It's coming through the eyes. This is cancer. And notice it's right in the cell phone area, y'all. Y'all see that? Now check this out. I want to see. Look. Look how this look. Look how this look. Constant surgery from having your phone on your face all day. That's why it's very imperative that we speak on these things on speaker phones. And if you don't need it, get it off your persons, family. If you don't need it, get it off your persons. And this is not the only person. It's celebrities with these same things. It is celebrities with these same things. This actually show y'all the tumor that he had. This shows y'all the tumor. See that? It's called glioblastoma tumor. Then it comes from cell phone use. Y'all see the tumor? Notice it's right where the antenna from the phone is at. He went from this to this, from using the cell phone and not using it correctly. Now you get text sent to you, right? Since all this has been happening with these celebrities, LeBron James, LeBron James. Notice they do they do their hardest to delete all of his pictures, but we found a few of them. But notice he had that Samsung phone end up giving him a benign tumor on the side in his cell phone area. Right after that, they they destroyed all the pictures and then Samsung sponsored him, gave him over a hundred million dollars. Y'all think I'm lying? Look it up. They sponsored him. They sponsored him for him not to talk about what happened to him, which was this cancerous cell phone tumor from the cell phones. Look this stuff up if y'all think I'm lying. All of this is researchable. This is researchable information, y'all. Researchable information. And I'm going to show y'all how this work. I'm going to show y'all how this work. Look, here go another one. Look, and they point, they pointing at them. They pointing at these things. He trying to hide them, but look, you can't hide this stuff. And he not the only one. There's over 20 celebrities that got these things and they all keeping it on the hush. And then when you check the records and you look at who's sponsoring them, Apple, Samsung, they're getting sponsored by these cell phone companies. I wonder why. Because they make billions and billions of dollars, especially the TV networks, because we watch it most of the television networks through our cell phones and through our tablets because we all traveling and we're going throughout our day. and We don't have time to actually watch the big TV no more. So they sell cell phones and they do their CPMs and CRMs through the cell phones. So they making most of their money.